New controversy tonight over a medicine used to treat Alzheimer's. The FDA approved the drug just last month. It's the first new treatment for the disease in nearly two decades. But the medical community was then and is now divided about whether data shows the drug actually works. Plus, there's the price tag. The treatment costs an average patient about $56,000 every year. House lawmakers have announced an investigation into the drug's pricing and its approval process. Still, the medicine offers new hope for the families of millions of Americans enduring the disease. Here's CNBC's, CNBC's senior health and science correspondent, Meg Terrell. Linda and Ed Neal have been together for decades. We talk about this about every other night, <laughs> 35 years. Nobody thought, it had, nobody thought we'd make it. Seven years ago, Ed was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. And last year, he started on an experimental drug, now called Aduhelm. I feel that it is helping. I do see flashes of him being in the moment and remembering what happened just a couple minutes ago. But where the Neals see hope, others see a drug with weak evidence of its benefit and a huge price. The, the price tag is astronomical. You have to multiply the price by the number of people who are going to get this drug. So it's one thing if that kind of price is for a drug that very few people use. It's completely different when you're talking about Alzheimer's. About six million Americans are currently living with the disease, leading to warnings the drug could break the health care system, costing the government up to $29 billion per year, more than the entire budget for NASA. Experts warn the cost, even with insurance, could be prohibitive to some patients as well. Wall Street firm Bernstein estimates some on Medicare could have out-of-pocket costs of as much as $11,000 a year. Doctors like Joyce Snyder worry that could create a system of haves and have-nots. The concern here is that this will be a medication for people who can afford it and not for people who can't afford it, which is not, you know, what we want our health care system to look like. And it doesn't, you know, look like the sort of medical justice that we all would, would like to see. The drug's maker, Biogen, says financial assistance programs are available and it expects use should be targeted to a fraction of patients with Alzheimer's. Those early in the course of the disease where the drug was tested, about one to two million patients. The company points out the drug was approved based on its ability to clear plaque buildups in the brain associated with Alzheimer's and says it's working to complete a confirmatory trial proving its benefits in memory and thinking clearly. It says the price reflects its belief in the impact of treatment and that it's open to working with the government to ensure it doesn't overwhelm Medicare. And it's committed to not raise the price for four years. As for Linda and Ed, they don't yet have to pay for the drug since Ed was involved in the trial. But when they do, even though they acknowledge the drug's not a cure, they say they don't mind the price if it can bring them hope for a little more time together. When I see that he's she's happy. <laughs> when I see that he's there with me and enjoying the moment like I am, it's huge. Now, the drug itself isn't the only cost. Patients also need tests to make sure the drug is right for them and MRIs while they're on it to monitor its safety. So it's a lot for the system to take on and a controversy that's probably only just at the beginning. Shep? Meg, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.